My name is Paresh Malhotra. I'm a neurologist based in London and I work at Cleveland Clinic London because it's a centre of excellence and a great place to work. I've always been fascinated by the brain, uh, I'd, even at medical school, and it was very exciting to learn about neuroscience and I wanted to do research, but I also wanted to look after patients and I've been lucky enough throughout my career to be able to do a bit of both. The typical patient interaction with me tends to be not just me and a patient for a start. So it's me and a patient and their family or their, their loved ones or friends. So I tend to meet them as a group. For me, it really helps to see the interactions between individuals, how everybody gets on, and really what the important things are to someone. You know, it's very different. If someone's uh, really keen on golf, it's useful for me to know that they're a keen golfer. In the same way, if someone's the prime aim of someone's day is to pick up their grandkids uh, from school at the end of the day, I would like to know that. And it's really useful to know how it's going, if they can still do it, if there are any problems. And then I'll speak to the patient on their own and have a chat with them and just all the way through explain that this is how it is. It's not some sort of test. It's just to try and find out what the problems are and how we can deal with them and what we can expect from the whole process, really. I feel, personally, that communication is by far the most important thing in my job. So obviously knowledge is critical as well, but if you have the knowledge and you can't communicate with your patients, you can't communicate with their families, and you can't communicate with your colleagues, then you can't get anywhere. So some of the problems that people have when they come to see me is not knowing exactly what words mean and what the implication of certain diagnoses and words are. So for instance, dementia, for instance, cognitive impairment, for instance, Alzheimer's disease. My colleagues, myself, the media, they throw these words around and people hear about them and read about them. And without having them explained, and without having them explained critically in context what these words might mean to them, it's meaningless, it really doesn't help. So I think it's very, very important to explain things clearly and precisely and really what they mean to that person and their family.